What's up, everybody? Got a lot to show today coming on here. Oh man, let me turn on this, all this gadgets here. Turn off this crawler. Let us know where you guys are from. What's up, Matthew? What's going on? Let us know where you guys are from. Uh, got an awesome show. Uh, we love to see where our viewers are coming from. So uh, let me go ahead and turn this crawler on, off. Fine. We'll go this route here. And uh, let us know who else is on. We got tons of, ton, not tons, but a few people on. Let us know where you guys are from. <clears throat> love, to, love to hear. Um, awesome show today. Um, and he's already talking. All right, let me mute him. So, so we got, uh, guys. We got. I'll start here and say welcome to show forty-one with uh, Jay Chu Tall, and uh, it's about bodybuilding. Bodybuilding. So, um, man, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I've been wanting, I've been following this guy for a while. Uh, today we're just gonna talk about you know how he got started. Is he making any money with this? And um, how his journey is going along and what his goals are so uh thank you guys for joining and if you guys have any questions comment comment below and uh welcome to the show guys we got uh india in the house as well india holy cow india i didn't think there was more people there so uh welcome guys okay so let me go and bring him on here so there he is oh he's coming on here right here what's up jay you there jay Hey man, thanks hey, for coming on the show, on, man. man. This is this is cool. This is cool. Yes, I'm uh, here. You know, love to hear about what you've done so far. Uh, let me go and let me go and do some of these housekeeping stuff. Let me go and hide this thing here, and just be you and me right here. And these widgets here. There's so many widgets going on here. Um, still learning all this kind of stuff. <laughs> This is like show 41, still learning. So, hey man, welcome to the show. Um, talking about body, so, though, man, dude, how'd you get started, dude? This is like, um, yeah, I've been watching for a while. Like, you know, all the pictures you've been posting, you know, all this kind of stuff. And, oh, wow. you know, I'm excited to hear about, you know, how you got started. So, yeah, can you tell, about, tell us how you got started? Um, I actually started um, September 21st, 2013. Um, it, it was like out of the blue, like, like I just got out of like active duty in the Marines. And then like at, at that time, like those gym just opened up in, uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina. And, and then like knowing me, like I, I had to stay in shape kind of, I'm like, I wanted to stay in shape. So, so funny thing is I, um, came across Pat, a, like a, a bodybuilder at that time, but the thing is, he was like a teenage national level bodybuilder at that time, and um, yeah. we happened to cross paths, you know. We just talked here and there, and then he was like, um, you, "You ever thought about competing on stage?" And then, well, at that time, I didn't know what bodybuilding was. Don't. And whenever I think of bodybuilding, I think of like big muscular guys, you know, wearing wearing the trunks. Um, and, yeah. then, and then I told him I was like, "I know." Well, I, us, yeah, and, and then. And then it, that's how, how I see it. Like, tell, tell no, it, it, that's how I see it. Yeah, and, and then like he he was like, you have a nice built physique. Um, you'll be perfect for uh, a bodybuilding stage one day. And then I looked at him like, I was like, what are you even talking about? Like, I'm I'm never gonna never get off. <laughs> and, and then like once I got into, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once I started getting into like September twenty first, two thousand thirteen, I remember the month, day, and year when I started. As I started seeing results and everything, and and then like once I started seeing results, that that's that's when I started learning more towards nutrition. Nutrition plays a big role, and, and then like, I started seeing pro I started progressing like monthly, and then I was like I was like I was like holy man, this might be something that I might be very interested in, and then like during like mid October or November, that's when I was really hooked. That was when I, okay. that's, 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 that's how I got into fighting. Yeah. That's, so within I, like, I was like a late bloomer though. Cause a lot of like, yeah. 
I started September 21st, 2013, but like the beginning of like October, mid October, November, that's when I got like hooked. Like I got the bite in the bug, man. I was gun hole from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I stepped so, on stage. My first, yeah. And then I got on stage on um, June 14th, 2014, my first contest, local contest. Awesome. So, hey, go back and tell us what is bodybuilding? You know, is it like, is it just a bunch of guys working out? I mean, what, what, like, that's how I envision like, what we were talking about earlier. Like, tell us what it is. Um, bodybuilding to me is building the body of your dreams, building the body of your foundation. Um, it's like building, it's, it's like, it's, it's like building something that, 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 that you never built before. It's like building like an, it's like, it's like building a dream house. Like you've always wanted a dream house or, or like a nice, or, or like a nice built car or, or like that, that that's how I see it. And like, and like, um, I, I, I like that bodybuilding, like an art, you know, like, like a polished finished art that's, that's okay. never that always needs um, bits and pieces of details. That that's how that's how I see bodybuilding. Gotcha. So so you started back in September of 2013, and then you know a few months later, pretty much right in the 2000 June June 2014, you, you competed. So was it? I mean, did it? Do you, did you? Yeah. Do you need to be like muscular and stuff like that, or <laughs> to to compete? Uh oh. Um, you at first it it like it's always your first show and like you know it was a local contest like it was a nat it, it it was a natural bodybuilding contest so like you know in, in the natural bodybuilding shows you're not gonna see too many like muscular guys like how how you see in oh, the gotcha. PC and in the I in the IBB Mister Olympia yeah so, yes yes I've been a long time um lifetime natural this whole time cool yeah cool so did, did uh, my first I mean, oh. okay yeah we'll go into your uh we'll go into your competition in a bit but uh hey, tell us tell us like the life of like a bodybuilder like what do you do like first thing you wake up in the morning it, it's it's like the same regimen like um you um prepare and plan ahead of the day and like this is this is this is really a marathon. Like, this is not this is not an overnight process, gotcha. and like this is not a rush process. It's like it's like a daily process. It's like it's like um a lot of people want that quick satisfaction, like like the quick yeah. get me rich like like that. But <laughs> to me, it's like it's like it it, it takes time and and yeah and uh, it's like it's like eating an elephant. But like you don't eat the elephant in all in one setting in one day. You take a bite of the elephant yeah. every single day, and and eventually yeah. you'll finish the elephant. Yeah. Gotcha. But so like so when you start the morning, do you like do you do that the egg stuff? You know, the egg in the cup and you know all that protein yeah. stuff. You know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I actually weigh I actually weigh out my food and everything. I, I know exactly. How many protein I'm taking a day? I know exactly how many carbs I'm taking a day and how many fats I'm oh, taking wow. a day because I, I literally do, I, I literally do it every single morning. So I know exactly what I'm taking in, and, and then like, I, like I've done it so much, like I got it down to a T. So it's just like it starts becoming like a habit, like a lifestyle. Yeah. Does it does it get old? Like and and, and yeah. like you, you know, it's it's like. It's something that I actually love doing. So like it doesn't it keeps me busy and focused. Okay. It really because okay. it's the it same really keeps me focused and busy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's the, the same, same regimen. It's like the rinse I could repeat. Yeah, yeah. But you but you like it, so you just keep you just keep going at it, right? Uh, no, I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I've I've been doing this for seven, seven it'll be eight years in September. When I started. Gotcha. This coming September will be eight years. So, so morning time. Almost a decade. <laughs> so morning time. I mean, you, uh, you're, I guess what you're saying is you're, you're kind of counting calories or whatever it is, right? 
So what do you do like during lunchtime? Right? Do you like do you, I mean, do you eat what you want or you, do you like specific? You're only eating this, you know? Because I saw you eat steak the other day, like four ribeyes, you know? Like, are you like are you eating certain things? What are you eating like <laughs> lunchtime and dinner? Um. Oh, right now I'm actually still on my meal plan, but but like I I just turned pro like naturally, so like. So like I need to build more muscle. So like muscle building takes such a long time. And so like my mentor is telling me like you need to up your protein. You, you need to up your protein. So knowing me, like whenever I think of like upping my protein, I, I think of like red meat, beef, and cow. Yeah. That's when I went to the local restaurant in my, my in my town and decided to get four ribeyes. Cause because I'm trying to put on some quality size. Yeah. Because because right now my body, because I, I just got doing the competition like three three weeks ago, so I'm still constantly, like, I'm at a high metabolism right now where I can burn everything off quickly. So I actually have to yeah. eat more to, uh, okay. to, to, so to wait, rest you, and recover and build the muscle over again. Yeah, so what do you eat for lunch? Say you know, again? What's your, normal, what's your normal lunch that you eat? I, I, oh, my, my, my normal meal plan, um, as of right now, it, it's pretty big. I, I eat, um, I'll have I have a half a cup of oatmeal with four whole eggs with six ounces of um, lean grass-fed um, organic beef, 93% lean and 7% fat, or, or, I, or I have six ounces of bison with it. Like, that's my breakfast. That's my breakfast. Okay. And then, like, my second and third meals would be, um, yeah, my, my second and third meal would be um, six ounces of chicken with have a cup of rice with um, vegetables, and, and then and then my fourth meal would be before I go to the gym and train. I have like, yeah. I have like half a cup of black coffee, yeah, and, and then and then um I'll eat I'll eat like half a cup of rice with um six ounces of bison before I go train. <laughs> and then and then and then like after I get yeah and, and then and then like after I get done training. I eat again. I eat either right right now. I'm trying to build muscle size, so I'm having like six to eight ounces of chicken with vegetables. What is it? Okay, that's my like my my whole meal plan for all uh, six ounces of chicken or fish yeah. with with vegetables. That's oh, my gotcha. last meal because I try not to um my last meal. I try not, yeah, my yeah my last meal. I try not to uh take in. I try not to take in too many carbs late at night. Gotcha, gotcha. So, all right, cool, cool. So like uh, I mean. What are you doing for your workouts? It, I mean, is it just like yeah, it's like, every day. like month like is it Mondays you're doing certain only certain things and Tuesday you're doing certain things or is it how, how are you doing your workouts? Um, th this is this is this is my routine. I I I actually I actually I actually train three days straight and then I'll take one day off. But whenever I train, I'll do like for example, I I do like push and pull. I will do, I will do chest and back together because chest you're like pushing, and back like you're pulling. So like so 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 that's like a great pump workout to get you going. I always do the I always do the push and pull exercise because that's what gave me the best results, old school way. Okay. And then um, then after I do chest and back on day one, day two would be like legs, which is hamstrings and your glutes and your um your quads. That's push and pull too, because you're um you're pulling with your hamstrings and pushing with your quads. So I oh, so, so 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 that's another push pull exercise. I'll, I'll do that, and then day three it'll be uh, shoulders, shoulders and uh, arms, usually. And then uh after after every workout, I'll do like thirty minutes of abs, and then I'll and then I'll follow like 20, 30 minutes of cardio on the bike or on the treadmill. Oh, that's okay. like my daily regimen like routine that i set up for myself oh, yeah. okay cool so uh don't you guys just join walk oh, welcome to the show uh we got j2 uh ta from um hey what, what city are you from by the way you didn't really ask I, i'm from the I, i'm from the county spartanburg county but like but like i come from a small town which is not even on the map <laughs> like i live in a small like <laughs> Tree town, what state like, you it's in? Called, yeah, it's called Packlet, South Carolina. 
Oh, South Grand Canyon? I'm in South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina. Okay, cool, cool. All right, awesome. So, yeah, uh, Jay's from uh, South Carolina. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Uh, if you can like and share, you know, this show, that'd be awesome, too. Uh, we're just talking about how Jay got started in uh, bodybuilding and, uh, you know, his co with competition and everything. Does he make money with it? And then, you know, where where, he, where is he going with this? So uh, that's, uh, that's the purpose of the show today. Uh, love to hear you guys uh, shoot out some questions and uh, we'll take it from there. So, uh, hey, did you, uh, you mentioned about your mentor, dude. Like, do you, I mean, who was your mentor? I'd love to hear who your mentor is. My, my mentor is a bodybuilder and powerlifter. He's a strong man of faith. Strong man of faith. A very strong Christian faith. You know? And for some reason, he saw like the eye of the tiger in me, like day one. Like day one, like he just believed in me. Like he's like 40 years, he's 40 years older than me, but he's very wise. And like whatever he says to me, whatever he predicts, it usually comes true. Like that's, that's how much faith and believe he, he has in me not 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 just mentally and physically from what he see but like um spiritually too like he's a strong man of faith strong man a strong man of god cool uh that's awesome what was the name again oh my mentor's name is uh cool. john Langford. okay the john link not a list of Spartanburg. yes okay cool yeah so guys you like uh He's out in South Carolina where uh, the internet's kind of laggy. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, if there is a little bit of delay on our side. You guys are seeing it, you know, not to worry. You know, that's how it works. So, uh, dude, dude, do you look up to like Arnold and stuff like that too? Have I ever, have I ever met Arnold? Oh, do you look up to those guys as well? You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger and stuff like that? You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes, because that's um that's my favorite era of bodybuilding. That's my favorite era. Yeah, the uh the seventies and eighties. Yeah, that's my favorite bodybuilding era. Like like like, like the golden era of bodybuilding. Cool. That's that's who I want to look like as a finished product. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yep. So that's what do you mean? What does that take? What does it take to get to that level? I mean, is it like I mean. It's just, I mean, he's, I mean, you're kind of lean, right? Is that mean you have to take a lot of protein or something like that? Or it, it's like, it's, it, it's an everyday process. It takes such a long time, S especially if you're doing it natural, like, it takes even longer. But the thing is, um, do, do, doing it natural, like once you get your results, you get to keep it. it it's with you. You don't lose it. Got gotcha. Unless you just stop working out and stop eating right, yeah, yeah, it's it, it it's an everyday process. Like, like you don't um rush a finished, polished art of, of drawing that's going to be like put in the portraits for like years for like years and decades for people to look at. It takes time and effort. That that that's how I see bodybuilding. That that's how that's gotcha. how I see it. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. So, hey, so, you know, like, uh, I know you competed, like, just recently, right? And that was pretty cool. Uh, and we, we showed you a picture of you holding that sword. Yes. Like, uh, uh, and, you know, how does that, I mean, tell us the competition. How does that work? Uh, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know anything about it, but I see the pictures. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Uh, tell us about that one, because that one's recent, right? Was there, was there, did you win any money? I mean, how does that work? Um, I I was competing as an amateur, so like I had to win the entire show to uh, get um to 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 qualify to qualify for the biggest pro show in um Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's like OCB. It's the um it stands for the Organization of Competition Bodies. So. So okay. like so 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 like that was like a region show to to compete to qualify to see if you can qualify for pro and turn pro first at that region show you have to win the entire show and then and then after you win the entire show you you earn your pro card and then eventually I can go towards um compete out of pro shows and win cash money from there. Gotcha. So you were as of right now I haven't done. Any pro 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, just to so that, just to pro qualify to compete. I mean, yeah. how many how many competitions it, do you need to? It, it sounds it's it, no, it sounds very simple. No, you just one. You just need to do one. But I've done so many contests already. But this recent one, yeah. I had to like win the entire win the class to order to pro qualify for 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 the professional like to to like the big. The big leagues to compete in there, and like top three gets cash money prizes. Gotcha. So how many? I mean, how many people did you go up against? I I went up against four or five. Gotcha. As bodybuilders, because yeah, because bodybuilders, because because now, now like it. It, it just amazes me now, like now, like, like men's physique and uh, bikini is taking over shows now because that's more of a attainable look. People, the the, uh, the public perceives that more of a look because when they look at bodybuilders, they're like, that's just like a different, like mutant or animal from like another planet. But like th this category, men's physique and bikini, it's it pertains more to like a natural beach body look. So like so like so so like the majority of the bodybuilding shows now is is men's physique and bikini that has taken over, but without bodybuilders, without bodybuilding, there won't be a bodybuilding show. Oh, okay. But as far as the classes and, and and the categories, yeah, as far as the classes and the categories, the the, the famous classes is the men's physique and women's bikini. Okay, because it is towards. That, that that's what the public tends to look at more as normal and more attainable that's how i see it that that's uh, just my opinion gotcha so okay i i and what are you competing for I, i'm doing bodybuilding i started from bodybuilding so i'm gonna stick with the big boys bodybuilding with, yeah gotcha. i'm not gonna <laughs> You're not gonna whip out, right? I'm not gonna hide my legs. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna hide my legs with the beach body shorts. <laughs> like, like a, it's like a bodybuilding like morals, moral. Like, I can't just go down to a lower. I, I'm not, yeah. I'm not talking about my men's physique or anything, but I have like best friends in men's physique who who had who has incredible body and incredible shape. But as far as like building the whole foundation, I feel like bodybuilding is the way. Not, not not just your upper body, but legs, calves, everything. The whole the whole body. Gotcha. Gotcha. So so when you go to these competitions, like is there a cost to get in or like, you know, you just sign up and you just show up or I, I'm just curious how much it cost. Yes, there's 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 actually a cost. Like for this contest that I did, it was uh it was uh, it was sixty bucks for the entry fee, and then like, and then like you have to buy a membership for the organization to compete in the organization, which is like another eighty bucks to compete in the organization year round. So that that membership will be with you for the entire year to compete in the bodybuilding organization, plus your sixty dollars fee to to enter a bodybuilding or men's physique or bikini class and then and then since it's a natural show you gotta pay 40 to 50 dollars for a drug test and a polygraph maybe could be because because it's a drug test to show there they will drug test and polygraph you to make sure you're not cheating your so way you gotta in pay for that or cheating your way out right i don't get i i don't get paid unless i have sponsors or i have um or 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 I go to a pro show and win and win my and win the entire show or place top three. That's when I that's how I get my cash money. I get yeah. my cash money through the pro shows or through my sponsor. So we can we can we can dive into that in a bit. But so but are you still are, you have to pay for that drug test, right? Yes, you have to. It's it, it's it is required. How much is it? The drug test is forty to fifty dollars, depending okay. on the organization. 
Gotcha. But depending on the bodybuilding or, or organization you're doing. Gotcha. So you're paying this much. Yeah. And I mean, are you kind of seeing the same guys like every time? Because you're in this membership. You're kind of, are you kind of seeing the same guys over and over again? Or like you're seeing new guys? Like, are you competing with the same guys as everybody? Really? Wow. Okay. Different. No, I've seen, I've seen different. I've seen I've seen different um, bodybuilders, and I, I've competed around the southeast here. My first contest of 2014 to 2021. Now, I've met a lot of competitors throughout my whole years of competing because because I'm doing a different bodybuilding like organization. So like this could be a different vibe and different competitors. So so like you 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 meet new friends and and sometimes you you cross paths with the former competitor that compete in the other organization too. Oh, gotcha. So, so, which is a great, 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 great experience. It's, it's, um, it's something that can be taken from me. It, it, it the, yeah. the camaraderie, it's really a great experience. And you get to see their progress along the way. And too. like you learn so many things. Yeah, yes, it, 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 it's, it's fascinating and motivating to me and uh, inspiring. So just curious, like, so when, so how do they judge you? Like when you when you get up there, like, do they just kind of look at, okay, he's got big arms, or I mean, what is it? What is it? Is it uh, that, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, they 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 uh, look at the whole body. They uh, they 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 judge they 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 judge your symmetry around if you're symmetrical with your your calves and your arms and your forearms, and, and they 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 look at your muscularity to see if you, to see the density and the muscle in you. Like, like they they actually make you go through as a bodybuilder, they make you go through all the quarter turns to look at the muscularity, and, and then they look at the symmetry. They basically look at the whole the whole foundation because once once the bright lights hit you, you know you can't hide anything. Like like Instagram now, you can just take pictures. You can take pictures and post yourself on Instagram and look really awesome and great, but when you're when you're standing on that stage, you can't hide anything. There's no there's no filter. There's no um I don't I don't know what people do these days. There's no filter and you can't make yourself bigger or whatever. That's what the judges <laughs> see right there on the bright lines when they see you. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, you can't hide and any of your your your, your weakness will expose. Like they will see your weakness. How long, how long does that take, you know, mm -hmm. when, when, you, when you stand on stage for for that process? For the process, it can be very grueling and long, depending, depending on the head judge, because the head judge makes all the calls. So, so, so he makes you go, as a bodybuilder, he, he makes you go through all, all the quarter turns, and then, like, he'll, he'll call out the mandatory poses. And, 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 and if, like, it's a really close contest, you can be out there posing for a while. Like it can be, it can be 30, 40 minutes. Just, just imagine tensing your muscles for at least 10, 15 minutes, like just tensing the whole time and like keeping a happy face on you. Just, just, yeah, just imagine doing that for like five, 10 minutes. And then like, when you look at me on stage, I'm doing like longer, but like, but, but then again, I train myself to do it. So yeah. Well, with the That's smile be hard, on my face, like, of course, right? Did you, to, to show did confidence. You doing that? Yeah, yeah. I've actually trained myself to do it, so my body's adjusted to it. My body's adjusted to it. Yeah. Okay. Now. I, 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 I mean, I, I mean, a lot of people now. Some of them don't hold no more. Some, yeah. Some of them don't. Some some of them don't um put enough time in their posing like they do in their diet and their training because posing. Posing is like a finish. It's like the final. It's like it's like going through high school and college and walking up to graduation and get your degree. It's just like that. You're getting on stage to get your degree. Yeah. <laughs> and bodybuilding, you're just standing there, flexed and and um trying to win your class to uh to, to get an award, to get a recognition, to wow. to to be to be the best built man on that day, on that day of the contest. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. So, um, I mean, geez, I mean, you're there for like 30 minutes doing that. Now I know why when I, when I, when I see the, the videos and you guys up there, now I know why, because you're 
it's because they're they're judging you from that and, and i guess it takes a while because they're they have to do any is it by score or do they just kind of like all right you know i don't know i mean is it just by looking and they can just go okay that's a little bit more tone and like i can or, or are you compared like side by side how does that work is it they, they, they actually they ask if it's a really if it's really close they will compare the two and pose them and like the one and, and like the one that i'll pose like for example if i'm going against a guy who has a little bit better physique than me yeah but but like it's like really close and like the judges make us pose for a while they look at the whole package and and, and if i can out post that guy who has a little bit better physique than me then i win like like it could be by like a like like winning by your calves or your legs like you won because your legs look better than that guy gotcha gotcha cool cool so i mean i saw i saw one of your i guess you call it act right what do you call it? Like act or show, or what do you call it? Right? You do your own music and stuff like uh, that, right? Bodybuilding contest? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, oh yeah, the free posing routine? Yes. Is that is that different? Is it that different from like the bodybuilding? It, is that is that together? Is that all part of the competition? That's the um that's all of the that's all part of the competition, but that's the uh, the finals after the morning show. The morning shows when the morning shows when you've been judged and scored and uh, everything and, and then the finals is like the night show it's when you go out there and, and have fun and, and just express express your posing routine and just go out there and have fun and and uh just just show the people um how hard you work for the last three six months or maybe longer longer than that just to get to just to show people that hey this is the journey that i've been through and i'm going to show you Gotcha. So that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, you, you, I, sh I saw the old recording of it, and that was pretty cool. You know, um, so yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can. We can uh, if I can find it again, I'll tag you on the show. It's pretty cool the way how you did it. So. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So so tell us. Okay. So let's talk about the money, right? Because this is a money show. You know, you talk about like. How do you get income? Because obviously, the way you're saying is you're spending a lot of money just for budget food and stuff like that, right? Do you make money? I mean, uh, with these competition, like, can you? As for as for the amateurs, when you're trying to uh, to pro qualify, no, you're you're not making a dime, not even a penny. But if you're if you're having sponsors to back you up. And if and if you're doing a pro qualifier and, and, and if you do make top three, you you, you will win cash money prizes. And I mean, what are we talking about? Like that's how like that's how, like how you, much that's how you're gonna make your money. How much? Um for this contest that I'm gonna plan on doing this year, the uh the OCB Chet Yorn Championships, the, the pro show. I think top three get like a couple of thousand dollars cashes cash prizes a couple of thousands thousands since since, about like, since 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 there's gonna be money at the stake it's good uh -huh. we're talking about like like since there's gonna be um 5, 000, or we're talking about like ten thousand we're talking about like you know, two or three thousand five thousand five thousand gotcha Five, so five you don't thousand, make a whole lot. I think for the first, yeah, five thousand, five thousand, yeah, five thousand a lot for the uh, first place winner. Second place, I think, is three thousand, and then third gets two thousand, and then like with with a couple of thousand dollars at stake, I mean, everyone's gonna, I mean, it's a pro show, and you're basically gonna make something out of it if you make top three. So uh, this is gonna be pretty stiff competition. Is is because 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 um this is not a region show this is like the main contest this is like the championship this is like the pro championship this is when everyone's gonna come around the world that qualify for pro will compete to see who who stands on top on that day wow okay cool so i mean and then when and right we now, talk about like i'm just yeah and right now i'm just trying to get bigger. you're trying to get what mm -hmm. keep going 
Yeah, you, right now you're trying Oslan, to get what? Oslan, what'd you say? Um, as, as of right now, I'm I'm just, I'm training for a. Uh, as of right now, I'm training for that contest in October to 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 make my pro debut this year. Okay, which is I turned pro this kind of year and then I play go do. I I just won this region contest, turned pro in April last month, April, and then yeah. six months later, I plan to make debut in the pro and to see where I go from there. Gotcha, gotcha. So all, all then, in one year. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So, uh, so you make your money from the the competition, and then you I think you mentioned also from sponsorship, right? Mm -hmm. Spon sponsorships. How much do you see those guys making? Like in, in the sponsorship, you know, does it does it yeah, really matter? Or, yeah, like from sponsorship. Um, if, if they have their yeah yeah if they have their own supplement company and they see like a unique individual that they like to sponsor, they're they're gonna want to have to like they're they're gonna reach out to you and say hey you know you're you're a great athlete for our company we we would like to help sponsor you like sponsor our products while we sponsor you to to showcase what else to showcase hey this this athlete's using our our own supplements and and, it, and it's apparently working for them so it's, so that's how the sponsors they they actually brand their supplements within you for you to brand it for them as a sponsor athlete and then like however many sales they get i think that's how much money that the sponsors get and then you get too as well from sponsorships cool. Cool, cool. So awesome. So those of you guys just joined us, uh, we're, we're talking with Jay from uh, South Carolina. He's he's. Uh, I mean, this is kind of. I mean, bodybuilding is not your. It, it's not your full time job, right? Not yet. It's 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 actually not. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Not yet. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do from uh, still, uh, your, your other? Oh, my, my other full time job. I, I'm I'm actually uh I'm actually a shipping and loader like truck loader. At, okay. Um, at the uh, Dollar General distribution so getting, center, the Dollar General so Corporation. You're out there as well, then. <laughs> Somewhat. Yes, yes, yes. As of right now, I am getting. As of right now, it's getting warm. So like, I'm getting. I'm constantly sweating. So like by my like nine till like noon it gets really hot on those 18 wheel trucks and then like and then like, i literally drink almost two gallons of water a day because i'm sweating so much from constantly moving and stuff yeah like that's awesome like sometimes when i go to the gym i don't need to do cardio yeah. <laughs> so so just curious like okay so you mentioned this competition is like you know the highest is five thousand. what's the highest competition that you've seen that pays the most Oh, it's the um the the NPC and the IBB. It's it's like a totally different bodybuilding organization where where like that's where people see the monsters and the three hundred pound bodybuilders at, and they're winning six figures. Like top three is like six figures from there. But like like the winner, damn. I think the winner of the last year in December, I think he got like two. Two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars cash prize so that, first place. It, so is that like it actually taking place? It actually took in place in Orlando, Florida, in December last year. Actually, that's the biggest one, the biggest, biggest, biggest one. So that's once a year, right? Was it quarterly? Once a year. It, it's once once a year. So you see, so basically, it's like for you to keep going, you you have the membership of multiple competitions, right? If you want to keep competing with other and make it kind of like a like a full time job, you have to be competing in different competition. So you be a member of multiple, I guess, competitions, right? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. But some organization, the organization, the organization I'm I'm doing right now. They forbid me from going to the NPC or the IBB. Like they, they will ban me and uh, um, terminate my my pro qualifier for OCB for that organization. 
if I do cross over to do the NPC, like I'll be straight from my pro card. Wow. And wow. It won't so be and, and, and organization I'm doing right now. Yeah, they will. Yeah, so I'm kind of to the point where like I, I'm just gonna just stay in the OCB for a while and um and uh I'm just gonna take a natural route and just just go from there. Gotcha. gotcha. Just go as far as I can with there and, and then uh-huh. So yeah, those of you guys who join us, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Uh, we're talking with Jay from South Carolina, does bodybuilding, and I mean, you do this, I mean, you work out every day um, just for this one competition a year, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you call this? Do you call this like a hobby or, I mean, dude, this is like a, a ritual, right? I mean, what is it? I mean, is this... When, when 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 people say hobby, it's not really a hobby to me. It's just it's something like that so. I really love to do. Like it's more than a hobby to me. It's it, it's 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 like it's like something I really love to do. It's like I'm I'm passionate about it. So it's like my passion. Like, I love to do this. Like I love doing it. That's why when I get tired and whenever I get um tired and exhausted and quitting, you know, my mind just keeps going because I actually love what I I love what I do. That that's what's gonna separate the the men from the boys on uh, on a bodybuilding stage. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Because because yeah, a lot of people they, they want quick results. A lot of people they they want quick results like very quick. But man, this takes so long. It's it's, it's just a long process. But 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 towards the end, the the the, the rewarding is so worth it. it. Is worth it is worth every time effort that 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 you spend every day just to get to that. To that stage the bright lights you know that's i mean why would you it, it's like it's like why would you want to stop in hell you know because you're in hell you need to keep going because eventually you will get out of you will get out you will get out of hell but why would you want to stop when you're going through hell it's, it's just like yeah. it's like life it's just how life is yeah that's how and i started it. right you started so why not finish it so yeah you I mean it was it was long <clears throat> it was Took forever to sculpt the way how you yeah, are. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not how you start. Yeah, yeah. It, it's not how you start. It's how you finish. Yeah, I mean, you you mean you change a lot. I mean, it was you know I followed you like a while back ago when you were like posing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mind has changed a lot, bro. Huh? I remember you posing at Mon New Year. Like I think I'm something or something like that. You know, or something. And that was pretty oh, cool. Wow, that, oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, your body change. You know, I mean, I, I forgot how many years ago was that, but I can see yeah. the progress. You know, as each year goes through, you know, so that was pretty cool. So, and and I guess you you change as a person as well, right? So, uh, that's pretty cool. So, um, dude. Uh, yeah. I, not, not, no, no, not, not just from the the outside. But yeah. You gotta change through mentally and physically and spiritually too. Not just the looks, but the whole the whole aspects. Your mind, your body, and your spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Mind, body, and spirit. It's, it's, I think mentally it's more mental, right? Because you're doing this every day, you know? And you're like, oh, for me it's like the same thing over every day. That's yeah. that very, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> very it's very it's very mental. Yeah, it's it's very it's very mental. Like your mind battles you're totally like you you have the yin and the yang like you have these two sides of that that's always like clashing towards each other through the mental mind like this side is always saying hey you know it's fine if you just you just take time just take time and slack off a little bit and not work as hard and this side's like no you just need to stay the course and keep going like okay so let's so let's say you're when 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 the uh, roadblock is so let's say you're doing, I don't know, benches, right? Like, when do you stop? I mean, do you do like a certain number and you stop, or do you go like, like, like Muhammad Ali? He go, he says, you know, he just they go, when do you stop? He goes, well, I, you know, I don't stop until it hurts or something like that. Do you? How do you do it? Do you do just certain sets? Oh, like that, he, or? He, no, he says that he's like, no, oh, okay, this this is how it went. Okay, he says that when when, when an interview reporter asked him. How many sales right. did you do? And then he was like, "I don't count. The, I don't count how many sales I do. I start counting yeah. when it hurts. That's when it really counts." Yeah, that's what. Is that 
Is that how you do it? Or do you like, oh, I'm, I'm only doing 30 and then whatever, you know? Is... Uh, oh, okay, okay. I'm only doing um, quality reps to the point where, like, you're not worried about how fast you can do it, but you worry about how you do it in a right way, in, in a slow control right way, so you won't hurt yourself in in the gym as a bodybuilder because bodybuilding you're you're total you're always doing um full range of motion you're always um squeezing and tensing the muscles for it to grow because it's, because the weight doesn't matter in bodybuilding what matters in bodybuilding is you on that stage it, it doesn't ma gotcha. matter how much how much you push because because you're not a powerlifter it, oh. it's, it's like a beauty pageant like mm, gotcha okay really that, pretty that with the muscles it. up there Right, that explains it. Yeah, you're right. You're not. Yeah, you're not beauty. Powerful. Yeah, you're you're kind of you're you're sculpting yourself, right? It's kind of kind of what you're saying. Yes, it, it's like the, yeah, yeah. It's like the beauty pageant where they stand there for a long time and they smile for like an hour, <laughs> like 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 the professional, like like the the, the the Mr. Universe or Miss America. They had to stand there and and keep the fake smile for like who knows how long. I, I know their jaws hurt. Like you just look and like, man. <laughs> but 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 for bodybuilding, it's like the whole body. <laughs> yeah, because you're for, like, for bodybuilding, it's a whole body. <laughs> you're, you're flexing your whole body. Like, you're like dude, that's kind of yeah. Awesome. It don't, it don't. You get tired of it. Does it get exhausting when you get done with the? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> my 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 body's actually gotten used to it. Actually, oh, I, I've done it so much, it, it it becomes like second nature. It's like riding a bicycle. Gotcha. So I'm just curious, like, like uh, you know, it's you, like riding a bicycle all over. Yeah. Just curious. You're you're saying like you're sculpting. Like, what is it that you're you're working now? Like, what part of the body are you working now? Um, for example, if if I'm doing um upper chest, I should focus on upper chest and like, like, like there's a bend where you can make it like a like you don't focus on your lower pecs but you focus on your upper pecs and then like you really got to put the mind and the muscle and say hey this is the muscle that i'm working and then and, and then if i feel my upper chest working they continue working that's what sculpting is like what is it like what is it like uh what do you what do you what are you focusing on now for yourself like what are you sculpting right now what is what is the major concern right now I'm actually building my body. I'm building my physique right now. I'm actually trying to get bigger to do a pro show. Okay. To to so you just because to when that. I do a pro show, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be stepping on stage with the big boys. So I have to wear my big boys pants on, and I have to continue the lifestyle, and then like I have to like up up my game a little bit. So like I have to I have to push from there, push harder from there. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, so it's, uh, that's cool, it's, man. it's so, uh, like sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's just like sports in high school where the JV, like 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 you make the JV, and then like if you're really good, like 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 you can go varsity. It's just like that, like varsity with the big boys, <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> the the big, big boys. <laughs> right? Yeah. Wow, dude. I mean, does it get scary when you look at those guys? I mean, I mean, some of those guys they're like huge, right? That's it. I don't. Yeah. I don't get scared anymore. I, I, I actually um. Does it get intimidating? I, it actually pushes me. Actually, no. I, I'm. I I get to the point right now where whenever I compete, I don't get intimidated anymore. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. So I, I don't get intimidated. Anymore. I don't care. Like I'm to the point where, like, if Arnold shows up at that show, like, okay, it's Arnold. I'm gonna push myself to beat Arnold. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's how, yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that, that that's my mindset right now. Like like you like my mindset like, okay. I don't care who shows up on that day of the contest, but. I can't control who's going to show up on the day in the contest, but I can control how I'm going to show up at the contest. 
Like, like I'm already like meditating and visualizing myself as, hey, you know, like I'm telling myself like, hey, like I always tell myself like like positive positive affirmations, like positive thoughts. I tell myself, hey, you know, you're you know, like you worked hard for this. Like this is your time. Like this is your time to shine. And like I and like you gotta have like a lot of positive affirmations and in uh, mental mental sp- mental spiritual and physical. Like you really you really you really gotta believe in yourself and um and like I and like I really do. And like you gotta visualize yourself like holding the trophy or winning it before you actually win it. Right. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So, uh, hey, thanks for sharing all this uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know anything about bodybuilding. Uh, I figured, you know, love to know about it. Uh, how you guys make money from there? And uh, now let's go over to some personal stuff, right? Because uh, uh, I know when we we shared this out that you were gonna come on the show, you mentioned something about some personal stuff about last year or something like that. Did you want to share that? Yeah, yeah, we sure. Uh, it was kind of funny because um, because because last year, I was actually ten pounds bigger. Because 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 my my contest for three weeks ago in April, I was only on one hundred sixty pounds. But last year, I was actually one hundred seventy pounds. I I was actually bigger last year, but I wasn't quite as polished like I was this year. Like polished as a finished product, um. And then like, and then like life, life got life got in the way, and like, and, and like and like you know when you when oh like, like like your and everything, and 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 then like, then like I quit, I, I literally quit bodybuilding for like, like I quit bodybuilding of March 2020, and then like I just decided to follow the regular Hmong lifestyle. And then I found out that it just wasn't for me. Like, like this isn't like God has put me in this world to be something. Like this is not, this is not my path and purpose. As of right now, this is not what I was meant to be. This is not what I was meant to do to impact the world. Like this is not, this is not me. I can't, I can't live the life. I can't live the moment lifestyle. Gotcha. And, and then like I started, and. Like, and then, like after my breakup with my um fiance, my ex, um November sixteenth, November sixteenth, two thousand twenty, when I started my journey all over again and just made my comeback. And fast forward four to five months from from November to April, I eventually became who I was meant meant to become. Like it, it was like it was like destiny, like. Hey, this is this is for you. This is this is this is the path that you need to take right now, because because this is uh this is once every lifetime, man. You're you're never gonna get this opportunity ever again, because because every single day, every single second, minute, and hour of your day, month, and year, you're not getting any younger. You're getting older. That that's how that's how that's how I perceive it and saw it. Right. That was me. Tell us about that, bro. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 that's a pretty deep stuff. Yeah, that's pretty deep stuff. Yeah, that's pretty. Was deep it like, like just peer pressure? They're just like, uh, I mean, what, what was, what was the behind that? Was it because they didn't see that it was worthy enough, um, or yes, what, what, yeah, what yes, was, it's, it's, uh, it. it, it it's it, it just the old school mon mon way, where like, you know. Like the old Hmong traditional way, you know, you know how our parents, you know, like when they never go play sports, or whatever, huh? they said that, you know, you know, like, your mom, like you're never gonna, like, uh, that's how my parents, they always like, they, they almost lit, like, I, I think just OGs, like some of them, they will always like limit their kids from like potential until like I met my mentor. When, when he saw me and like he knew I was working hard every single day, he, he saw that I had the tenacity and the drive in me like, hey, you know, you can go very far. Like you, you can go somewhere with this. And like, he, he predicted and believed that I can do it. 
before I all really do this to first. Wow. So the mind, body, spirit. Yeah. Basically, they're just dream, dream killers, right? That's what they were doing. Dream killers. Showing your dreams off, right? <laughs> It's just basically following the moment lifestyle where like you're getting to the point where like you're getting old, you need to get married and just settle down and just live a live a lifestyle and just live that lifestyle and then and then like that just wasn't meant for me, right? As of right now, it's not meant for me right now because I'm not ready for that yet. You know, I feel, I I feel like the good men upstairs have like a path and purpose for everyone, not just men but women as well. Like for everyone, like hey, you know, like like this is what. He, this is what he's he's planned for you for something even better right right well kudos to you for finding that path again bro i mean <clears throat> and now you feel happy about it right yeah i'm happy and i, I just love what i do and um it, it's just it's just something i really love to do is like passion i'm passionate about it like like why would you why would you want to stop when um you can take take it um above and beyond of, of what you're capable of like like don't don't limit yourself like no, no i'm just not just talking on my behalf but but like for like for all the moon people who like limits themselves like why don't you want to limit yourself like it's, it's it's like it's like um it's like you're basically filling yourself when you're actually gonna fill already with that with them with that mindset you're not gonna go anywhere you should already like tell yourself like, "Hey, I can do this," and 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 I'm gonna make sure it happens. Like, if, if you think more positive towards it, of putting more positive mindset to it, then it's gonna happen more towards a must um positive mindset of it. Wow, dude, that was that was deep. Yeah, I know a lot of there might be a lot of uh, like yeah. monk, young monkeys and stuff like that yeah, that stuff. might be in the same situation. What would you tell them if they, they, were, they were in the same situation you were? You, you gotta, you gotta find something in you to uh, keep it going. Like, what is your why? Like, why, like, why are you here on this planet Earth? What, what is your path of purpose? As, like, as a man, like, what? What's driving you? Why are you waking up every day? You know, like, what is your why to um to to your success? Like, you gotta find something that you're passionate about and um, move towards it. And um, there's gonna be a couple roadblocks in the way, but eventually, if you there's there's no way out of it. You you just have to work your way through it to overcome it, and then eventually you'll you'll make it there. You'll make it through the robots. It's, it's going to take a lot. Of, it's going to take a lot of time, effort, and, and, and a lot of tenacity. So, um, cool. So yeah, with that, but hey, appreciate from, you know uh, you from, coming on the show. You got to really uh, believe in yourself. People, people would think, yeah. No, go ahead, man. Finish, bro. Oh, oh, I, I'm just going to see what you're going to say, brother. Yeah. So. Yeah, with that, uh, man, appreciate you coming on the show. Do you have anything to promote? Uh, maybe ask for sponsorship or, you know, or even like when's your next competition date? You know, so we all look forward uh, to, you know, your next uh, competition. My my next one that I plan to do that, that I might do, um, it's going to be in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the um, OCB Yorton Championships. The uh, basically the 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 pinnacle of OCB championships, like like, like the biggest OCB competition in the world, and um, that's gonna be a pretty stiff competition since it's not it's not really a re it's not really a region show no more. It's like a it's like the world championships from from around the United States. People who who pro qualify in the other states, you know, we're all pro we're all qualified to compete all in that one contest. The, world, the OCB uh. Chet Yorn World Championships on October twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one, and six months from now. Actually. Cool, man. We'll be, I'll, I'll be following you on the way. You know, see your results. You know, October October twenty fourth, two thousand one, 
let's uh let's let's follow this guy 2021 2021 2021 <laughs> did i see that? something else okay cool so uh you got a few months to train and yeah dude you know oh first of all how do people get a hold of you or people follow you um i i have an instagram um j chu tao the the only j chu tao on on instagram um follow me on instagram and um my my email is uh and and another way to get hold of me is my email at ctal3040 at gmail.com that, that's the best way to uh, reach out to me if you have any questions or needs or concerns or reach out anything about life or anything feel free to reach out cool or you know if you guys want to support this guy as a sponsorship you know you taking sponsorships <laughs> i'm not i i don't go looking for sponsorships i like sponsorships come looking for me but like okay. that, that that that's just my mindset yeah nice. you don't go you, you it's like chasing a cat you know? because because when you chase a cat it's gonna run away from you you yeah. let the cat come to you <laughs> Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Very cool, man. Very cool. So, uh, man, I wrote some notes here. Uh, you, yeah, man. Give us, a, you know, guys, give us a, a thumbs up, you know, for having Jay come on the show. Uh, I, I would appreciate it because this is this very cool um, just to have him come on the show. I appreciate you doing this, Jay. And uh, and I think he's uh, when I was following you, you served, right? uh in the military right yeah yes i did sir. what did you what did you what, what what uh marines i think that was right no the united states marine Corps. awesome man i i, I want to just acknowledge that that you know hey man thanks for serving um thanks for you know taking time to serve and protect us so um appreciate that um Guys, get a hold of this guy, you know, add him a friend, you know, follow his journey. I've been following him for a while. Very nice guy. And uh, he's he's been changing from the years on, so it will be nice to follow, you know, where you're going after this. So, uh, Jay, you got any last words to say? Don't never doubt yourself. Um no matter what life's no matter what life obstacles coming your way, never doubt yourself and um keep fighting the good fight and you eventually will um overcome that and uh God bless and love y'all. All right. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, Jay, for coming. Guys, give him a thumbs up. And uh until then, Jay, thanks for coming on the show. And guys, have a good night. And uh guys, keep hustling, all right? Good night, guys.